What's it seen people? This is Matthew and this is another episode of What's It Seen. And today I'll be doing my second video review of a Trinbagonian feature film. This film in particular is directed by Dorisha J. Beresford and that film is called The Cutlass. So if you guys remember when I did my Bastardy review last year, this was one of the four films that I was looking forward to seeing at last year's Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival. Unfortunately though, I did not get a chance to see Cutlass at its debut screening, unfortunately. I really wanted to see it, I really wanted to see what the hype was about, but I heard a lot of great things about this film. Uh, for one thing, it won the People's Choice Award as well as the award for Best TNT Feature Film. So I was excited, I just really need to see this film here. After the festival, I was like, okay, hopefully we're going to get a theatrical release at some point in time. And lo and behold, <laughs> I had to wait until August of this year to see it. So yes, um, August the 2nd was when this movie finally came out. I actually saw it on that day. And I'm here right now pretty much talking about it. Like I just came back legit from seeing this film. And I just can't wait to talk to you guys about the colors. Now this film stars Lisa Bell Hirschman, Anna Goynhan, Kirk Baltz, Conrad Paris and Chris Smith. Now this film centers on a young woman named Joanna, played by Lisa. Her dad, played by Kirk Baltz, is suffering from cancer and she pretty much is just trying to get by in life. You know, she wants to have fun, she wants to live a life with her friends and her boyfriend who shows up periodically throughout the film. So one night during a party at the house of one of her friends, this gun-toting bandit suddenly shows up and he just has everybody down on the ground. He's grabbing valuables, he's grabbing money, and in the process, he kidnaps Joanna. And the rest of the film involves Joanna and this bandit in the forest of the Northern Range while her dad desperately tries to locate her. Now from the opening sequence alone, this is a visually gorgeous film. The cinematography, those shots of the Northern Range that pretty much open the film are just so beautiful and breathtaking. And you know, seeing this on a big screen, guys, was just, just epic to me. And as a Trinidadian, just seeing these images on screen is just nothing short of amazing, nothing short of inspirational to me. I really thought that the Cutlass nailed it in terms of just presenting these gorgeous, beautiful looking visuals. The acting, for the most part, I felt was pretty good. Lisa Bell Hirschman, as Joanna, I thought was pretty decent. The supporting cast did a good job as well. Kirk Baltz, who, believe it or not, I didn't even know going into this film that he was the cop from Reservoir Dogs. Yes, folks, if you have seen Reservoir Dogs and if you haven't, why? He was that cop from that scene from Reservoir Dogs. If you've seen Reservoir Dogs, you know the scene. You know, the stuck in the mill which you've seen. Yeah, so Cook Baltz was the guy who played that cop. And here, I thought that he was pretty decent, you know, in terms of the father. And I liked that you got to see the desperation and how he was going out of his way to try and locate his daughter. The American accent threw me off at first because I did go into this thing expecting that all the characters at least would have been speaking in a Trinidadian accent. But because he is an American actor, I'm not seeing that he should try to sound Trinidadian because he's in a Trinidadian film, you know? So it makes sense in terms of the actor. And I guess in terms of the character, you know, him, who I assume, because I don't know the full details of the real life story, is American. But to me, the standard performance was Arnold Goyhan. I actually remember this guy from watching Westwood Park. Yes, I'm that old. And yes, I did used to watch Westwood Park when it was on TV on Sunday nights. Yes, I used to watch it. And who'd have thought that this guy would still be acting to this day? And to me though, I felt that he was just excellent throughout this film. I love the complexity in this character. I love the fact that there was all this inner turmoil and rage building up inside of him. And I liked how the film kind of stops and kind of touches on this character as well. Because yeah, he was the most fascinating character here. He's not just this guy with a gun who just kidnaps skills for the sake of it. There's so much more going on to him and I like how his character was developed. He had some of the best lines in the film in my opinion. And he also got the chance to drop some jewels like, Don't interfere with a man cutlass. Now I don't know about you, but those are some wise words here. Do not interfere with a man cutlass. Don't, 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 don't ask, don't ask. Don't ask me why, just don't. Now the other performer who stood out to me was Conrad Paris, who plays the villainous boss man. And I would have never expected in a million years to see a guy like Conrad play a bad guy. And I felt that what he did here was just amazing. He had one of the best lines in the whole film, in my opinion, which was two days 
I want my money. Unfortunately though, I felt that they could have utilized his character a little bit more. You know, he was just in one key sequence in the film and I felt that you could have seen him show up in some other part of the film itself. And the same thing could be said for Chris Smith who just makes a few brief appearances as a cop. I wish I could have seen more of him as well too because I mean he is a talented actor. And now we'll get to the main issue that I had with this film. Now essentially this is a drama slash thriller and it does feel more dramatic than thrilling. And nothing's wrong with that, that, that's actually fine. But I felt that because of what this story was about, because of the situation going on here with this girl being kidnapped and you know pretty much her dad trying to locate her, I felt that there could have been more tension really building here. Now I'm not saying that they should go all Hollywood and give us some kind of epic chase scenes with people running down in the bush and all that kind of stuff, that's not what I'm saying. There could have been some tension really building here. So when the film reaches its climax, you know, the audience is already on their seat, you know, they want to know what's going to happen next. Here, it just kind of plays all kind of conventional, you can kind of tell what's going to happen unfortunately, but even if you are familiar with the actual real life event, I imagine that you would have at least wished for something a little unpredictable, something a little bit more unnerving, something a little bit more disturbing. There is one scene that, that happens which kind of disturbed me and really is because it just kind of happened just out of the blue and for some reason they just never bring it back up at the end of this movie. It just kind of happens and then it's like, you know, whatever, it just happens, whatever, moving along with life. But overall this was a decent enough film. I wish that there could have been a little bit more tension in terms of the characters and the story but you know, for what it's worth, this is a decent enough film. I would say that this is a step in the right direction in terms of high quality local film content and I really want to see more of these films come out, especially on big screen. And on the subject of big screen, yes guys, this is one that you should see on the big screen as soon as you can. I would give this a very light 3.5 out of 5 stars, it is worth checking out. Go see it before it leaves theaters please, I'm not sure how long it's going to be there but please go and see it and don't just walk out to the film and be like oh yeah that show was good, encourage some sort of talk or some kind of chat about it, talk about the film, you know, talk about what you like and what you didn't like or whatever and on the subject of that you know feel free to let me know if you've seen the film and what you thought about it, if you liked it or if you hated it, if you think this film is a step in the right direction in terms of local content or if we just have a long, 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 long way to go. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to this channel as well. And also feel free to check out my other reviews as well, especially what I did last year for Basidi. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. So once again, guys, this is Matthew, and like a wise man once told me, don't interfere with a man cutlass. Don't, 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 don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Just don't do it. Don't do it.